Welcome to the branch of Torah study known as Midrash. Midrash comes from the Hebrew verb drush, to seek out or expound. It refers to the effort to explore, explain, and expound on the Torah. It is also the title of an entire genre of literature generated by Mishnaic and Talmudic sages, the phenomenal Jewish scholars who lived roughly between 100 BCE to 500 CE. Midrashic literature comes in two forms. One, halachic. These works document the intricate methods used to analyze the typically terse biblical texts containing the Torah's 613 commandments. The goal of a halachic midrash is to show how the detailed laws governing the practical observance of those commandments are derived. Two, Agadic. These works provide a wealth of explanation of biblical texts and narratives, parables that clarify or illustrate a point, moral and ethical teachings, philosophical insights, mystical traditions, historical narratives and background information not explicitly recorded in the biblical text, and stories from the lives of the ancient sages. Much Midrashic material was lost in the upheavals of Jewish history, but the surviving works form a library of their own. Here are the major Midrashic works still in existence, including later era anthologies in chronological order. Pirkei Rabbi Eliezer explores the biblical events from the creation until the Jewish journey through the Sinai Desert. It is attributed to one of the Mishnah's most prominent sages, Rabbi Eliezer ben Horkinus. Mechilta de Rabbi Yishmoel preserves expositions on the book of Exodus that were taught in the academy of Rabbi Yishmoel ben Elisha. Mechilta de Rashbi offers expositions on the book of Exodus from an alternative academy that of the much-beloved Rabbi Akiva. Its recording is attributed to his disciple, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, the famous author of the mystical Zohar. Seder Olam, meaning world chronology, chronicles biblical and post-biblical history from creation until the second century Bar Kokhva revolt against the Romans. It is attributed to Rabbi Yossi ben Chalafta of Sephoris. Sifra, provides key expositions on Leviticus, which focus on Kohanim, Jewish priests who served in the temple. The work is also called Torat Kohanim, the laws of the priests. Its partner volumes on the books of Numbers and Deuteronomy are known collectively as Sifri. The insights in these volumes were taught by the school of Rabbi Yehuda, a disciple of Rabbi Akiva. Maimonides identifies the Talmudic sage Rav as the compiler of Sifra and Sifri. Midrash Rabbah is a series of 10 separate works that provide textual expositions, historical narratives, and moral teachings structured as commentaries on the five books of Moses and the five scriptural scrolls. Song of Songs, Ruth, Esther, Lamentations, and Ecclesiastes. These anthologies were compiled between the third and 12th centuries and record teachings of Talmudic sages from the land of Israel from the third and fourth centuries. Midrash Tanchuma is a foundational book offering expositions on the five books of Moses. It is named after a fourth century author heavily quoted in the work, Rabbi Tanchuma. The Talmud is not an exclusively Midrashic work, but its legions of volumes include a vast treasury of halachic and agadic Midrashic material. Midrash Tehillim offers commentary on the Book of Psalms. Its era of compilation is unknown, but it is cited in works as early as the 11th century. Yalkut Shmoni, a voluminous Midrashic anthology covering all 24 books of Tanakh, was compiled by Rabbi Shimon Hadarshan of Frankfurt, Germany. Midrash Hagadol is an anthology attributed to Rabbi David Bar Amram Aladani of Yemen. Ein Yaakov, an extraction of the Agadic sections of the Talmud, was compiled by Rabbi Yaakov Ibn Habib of Spain and Greece. The sheer number of surviving Midrashic works spanning 15 centuries testifies to the Jewish scholar's remarkable commitment to identifying and expounding the wisdom and guidance contained in God's Torah.